It's time for today's Face Off on Fox Soul. Challengers Quan LX and Big Angry Adams ready to go blow by blow on those hot topics. Face Off on Fox Soul starts right now. Lies the biggest terror threat in this country is white men, most of them radicalized right up to the right. And we have to start doing something about them. There is no travel ban on them. There is no ban on, you know, they have the Muslim ban. There is no white guy ban. So what do we do about that? In this round, here's Charles Big Angry Adams. Quanell, that was Don Lemon, former Reagan supporting Republican, child of a prominent lawyer in Baton Rouge, man who has had a life of, it seems to be very, very wonderful privilege, wealth privilege, uh, calling back in 2018 for a travel ban on whites, for a ban on whites, as if there was ever a Muslim ban, because there was not, right? And yet still, in, in pushing that notion that white men are, are the ones causing the crime and death in this country, that has been a, a, a linchpin lie of the Biden administration that does not support it by any of the statistics, you like that lie too, but yet despite us white, whiteies being so terrible, he just married himself one. Let's say, do we have a picture of that handsome fella that he just married? Oh, that's all of them. So Kamala Harris, she got rid of that, uh, that married African-American mayor that she used to sleep her way to power. And, uh, and people don't know, she was a mistress for the mayor of San Francisco for many years. Married that white fella. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, she loves to hate on the white man. Well, married her not just a white guy, but a ginger. We got, we got the former mayor of Chicago and her white wife. We got Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson, who just recently wrote an opinion suggesting, um, articulating the argument as to why it was okay to discriminate against Asian and white students applying to elite schools. I guess her kids would fall on the other half so they wouldn't get discriminated against. In fact, you see all of Ilhan Omar. She's got herself a white husband too after leaving her husband that she had when she came into power. So if we're all so damn bad, Quanell, why are they marrying us? If Don Lemon wants to ban white men, wants to have a travel ban for white <laughs> men, wants to do all kind of awful things, because it sounds like he's doing a lot of stuff with white men, but uh, that's a whole different issue. You know, the lies that some racist white people tell. What, what, what did I lie about? And when I listen to you, sir. Tell me one lie. What you're saying, it could not be furthest from the truth that the devil is from God. Well, what did I lie about? Don Lemon was quoting and referencing the Department of Justice coming out in 2018 and 19, mm -hmm. stating that the most dangerous terrorist threat in America were radicalized white men. Okay. It is a proven Absolutely not true. It is a proven No, you start off calling me a racist liar. Cut you off. Absolutely not true. I don't, I don't, I don't care. Look at, look at I, white didn't, boy. I didn't stop. Show respect. I didn't stop by. Show by, respect. By, well, no, no. Show respect. Calling me a racist and a boy is, uh, is, is like not showing us. No, you're let acting me like someone speak. that I only can speak. call names. I let All you do is call names. Hey, how about you? Back to what I was saying. Yeah, but let's see what you're saying. Don Lemon was referencing an article and a report that came out from the Department of Justice and FBI. It is a proven fact that the majority of the mass shootings in this country are where committed we, by where black men. Mass You're lying. Victims have You're been lying. Men. That's majority not true. Of the school shootings, well, multiple well, that's, children that's, that's have been harsh. murdered, have been also white men. not majority true. Majority of those killings that are taking place were terrorist acts like Timothy McVeigh in Oklahoma, like Ruby Ridge, like David Koresh in Waco, have been radicalized, crazy white men. Okay. So, Again, but let's get the point. Interracial in dating. Comparison but interracial to the dating. Terror but wait a minute. The interracial dating. Because okay. you brought that out. No, no. Like, like that has, Don Lemon like hates that white men, like but he's feels. marrying a white man. He does not hate white men. What he hates are white men and women who have the mindset of white supremacy. Okay. What Don Lemon hates is for white people who think they are better and have bought that lie in America that they're better based on skin color. And so Don Lemon obviously don't hate all white folks. He just married one. I'm not an advocate of same-sex marriage. But who am I to say to Ulan Omar? Who am I to say to the Congresswoman? Who am I to say to the Supreme Court Justice, Ms. Jackson? Who am I to say to Don Lemon? Who am I to say to any of them who you can love? 
Again, now again, I'm not an advocate you. of interracial marriage. Oh, oh you, and you've I'm been, not. This is but you. But I understand avoiding that the issue every person trying to has a right not. to marry who they, they, they love. Of course they do. But when they're people that constantly, like you do, and, and you know, it's my understanding you've had some white female relationships, right? People that constantly condemn white men, holistically, not individually, holistically, as he was doing. He might have been. Quoting some nonsense that if you parse it down, but it's not true. The most school shootings are done by African American males. That's absolute lie. Now, you look up the facts. Your mass lie. shooters you know, are again, white boys. Again, most mass shootings, African American male criminals. The truth is that you don't want the truth. Individual and the oh, are you shootings. Inter- oh God, you're interrupting not me, Quan. Oh, shootings, you're interrupting Charles. me. You sound like a child. But you know what? I'm Name not going to do. I'm not going to call you a boy like you called me because Name I don't have to induce an argument. Be- no, to you lie do. And because you don't want somebody to check okay. you. Oh, oh, check me. You check just got me. checked. No, here's the you thing. You don't like a no, black check, man what that'll tell, tell you to yeah. your face okay. what so, time it is. Uh, no, and so you, if I didn't cut you tell off, me the time. don't act tell like me a the, boy you know what? and I cut me off. I start off by calling you You names. don't like I don't call you black names, men and you white know women dating. You, get up you don't there like black women and white men. That speaks out against white supremacy. That's not the case. Oh, you like it if they all speak out against racism. Okay, I am... As long as they don't talk about racism, you cool with it. People being with whoever they want. As long as they don't talk about but racism, when you, you are. But when you sit here and you constantly condemn white men as being this great evil, as all of that That's group the of that picture of have justice done. Words. Okay, again. That's the FBI's again, words. He's forwarding this. There was a Muslim ban. There absolutely wasn't. Well, there should be a travel ban no, for Trump white men. Did so mention what? a so, Muslim so, ban so Don Lemon, against Muslim so there countries. There was never a Muslim ban. Don Lemon wants a travel ban on white men. Does no, that mean wait a his husband doesn't get to go on vacation a with Republican them? It's the hypocrisy. Miss Majorie the hypocrisy. did suggest that there be a Muslim ban. And when he goes, when he goes off on conservatives, and he was a Republican supporting Reagan because he's a damn liar. Charles, they and they, can what marry they need to stop marry, doing is what you do is they look can at his marry camera they want to and telling him, of course and they can. And because they but speak out against lying racism, about it. Because Stop lying so if you about marry white, white person, people. You can speak that's all you do. You Charles, want to date you're her. Wrong, man. You're wrong, you want to date her, no. but you want to get on the camera. Let me tell you something. I don't like it. You cannot I just say like that a black person screwing. who married a white person want, no, can't no, speak about yeah, racism. That's all. You won't. What I am criticizing Maya Angelou is the hypocrisy. Is the hypocrisy. Is the hypocrisy. Maya Angelou doesn't condemn white people like you. Racist like you. You can fight for black people and not condemn white people. How the hell you? Don't say who can okay. fight for black people. Yeah, yeah, That's what I can. You ain't no damn oh, you, you who can fight for you black people. You ain't lying in every option. So every option. You don't like black lie. folks that hey, check white you know folks. What? That's what, what I don't like is racism. You're a racist. Don's a racist. Stop being racist. The pot calling the kettle black. In this round. Here's Quanell X. Charles, many people are happy and excited that former Marvel actor Jonathan Majors did not receive any jail time after being found guilty for assaulting his girlfriend. I, in particular, believe that he was innocent. From the video that I witnessed, what I watched, it looks like she was assaulting him, chasing him, and fighting and holding and grabbing him. Now, I have to admit, I didn't see any other video before that, but based on what I did see, I didn't think he'd ever be found guilty. But his girl, former girlfriend, ex-girlfriend, she's very angry, and she's lashing out publicly, stating she thinks he will do this again and that he will harm and hurt other women. I think she's upset for t- two reasons. One, he, didn't get, he was not found guilty and she didn't get a big payday from suing this man. So he settled, but not her payday she was looking for. Well, let's, let's look. Like we got these videos where he's assaulting her. Running? Okay. I see him running. Well, you saw the end of it, but before he was, we got videos of her injuries. We got video or when they're the police body cam video when the police are inspecting her. But more importantly, but you can injure yourself but more importantly, fighting somebody. There was a trial, and in that trial, he was being prosecuted for two counts of assault, account of aggravated harassment and account of harassment. He was found guilty. You just said he wasn't, but he was found guilty, no, he was found guilty. for assault and for the harassment and found not guilty for two charges. So we have a jury that charges. examined it, looked at it, and decided he was guilty of domestic violence. But there's also a tremendous amount of evidence. 
you talk about she's looking for a payday, she is in fact suing him, right? She's suing him for defamation, suing him for other things. But this is someone that was caught doing something very horrible and then convicted, caught on video, then convicted, right? And he's getting no consequence to speak of, and it's absolutely oh, he ridiculous. he lost a lot of movie roles. <coughs> in fact, Marvel dropped him, and he had a deal to do three additional films with Marvel. He, would, he was also dropped from doing other films in Hollywood, so he's been severely financially punished, yeah, but that's and not many a think his career, his career may never survive this. I hope that okay, it does, well, you were just because I believe in second that chances. people were happy that he didn't get jail because time. the video and that you we made watched her and seem saw, like she was it a looks monster. like she was assaulting him. You just, well, you, so you just watched one little video clip, did no investigation. Well, show me another one. But you are saying well, show me another that one. you are, well, I'm not in control of the board. You're saying that you know more about this with the little bitty clip you looked at than the jury in a, in a city that is incredibly diverse. The majority of people showing up for jury duty in New York. You mean liberal whites. Uh, uh, well, no, African Americans. And liberal I, whites. I know you like to make stuff up, but... He was found New guilty. New York, not full of liberal ones. He was, he was found guilty, and it is, it, it's, uh, New York is an incredibly diverse city. Not as diverse as Houston, but incredibly diverse. And this is a city where he was prosecuted, a city that doesn't prosecute very many crimes, you know, because Alvin Bragg, the DA, he just likes to let people go. And he does have a policy of the presumption of no jail time for almost everyone, right? I was not shocked that he didn't get jail time. I thought he would get more consequence on the probation side of it. He clearly needs psychological counseling. It, it, it appears that he had a long history. Uh, there are claims that go all the way back to Yale. But this about always his, happens. He is, it always happens. It, what always happens? The, as soon as a man is accused of assaulting a woman, it could be the very first time this ever happened in his life, and he could very well be guilty. All of a sudden, you'll have women from the past, especially if it's a rich man, a man of real financial means. They'll start popping up out of the woodwork, claiming that they was assaulted also because they are looking for a payday. It does not mean he's innocent, nor he's guilty. That's for a jury to decide. But clearly, they have incentivized, financial incentivized, women coming forth, making up allegations which is about why being assaulted by a man. This happens this a lot in America, more by, than what people want to talk about. By condemning this victim, because you the made... The video looks like she was assaulting him. Again, you did no research, and you said, oh, she's white, he's black, I'm going to be on his side. I didn't bring Instead of looking at the situation, oh, but we know, you right? You brought it up. This is what you do. You right? brought it up. You assumed all these See, horrible you things. You did it, now blame about, me for it. You know, because that's what you do. No, you you're assume all these horrible your hand things. And blame no, me for no, the absolutely not. You began this by condemning this woman. I didn't uh, condemn signing, her. Yo, most certainly. Yo, the hey, video looks watch it like. On the playback. The video looks you like. You watch she one little video. Him. It ain't my fault you just make up see, numbers and don't do no damn research, Juanel. I didn't see him The truth her. is, not from the he video we all watched. whooped her. He got prosecuted for it. He got found guilty. And she is rightfully upset that he didn't get anything but a slight slap on the wrist, okay? And you're condemning it her for first it. Defense, you're Charles. saying. Again, his first offense. Again, I they got people in New York jail who are stabbing people oh, yeah, and shooting no. people New York's out and of not control. getting jail time. New York's Charles. out of control. It's out of I mean, control you everywhere. Got people well, then this is what in happened. In New York, and not going well, to jail. This is all downstream so, from, from you. Why should he be lucky? Clamoring for abolishing prisons and, and defunding I don't police. In that. Now you don't. I believe in now abolishing you don't. private prisons. Okay. Now I believe you in abolishing don't. private prisons. It's funny prisons. how your positions on things oh, I, change. You I were on the open prisons. border until just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, any, from those coming in from Mexico. Anyhow, not from the mother countries. Any, anyhow. The truth is that she, you began this segment by condemning this victim. You're and you wrong. condemned her, but you did. Play it back. You condemned her because she's looks, a white woman oh, stop, and she was Jones. assaulted by a black man. Jonathan Majors has a long history of, of aggressive, violent conduct towards women. That has that, not been proven. Oh, my goodness. It, you know what? Any, anything, An allegation. Anything. An allegation. In fact, he has and allegations. And how many are looking for a payday making those allegations? Like, how are you going to get paid? He done lost all his damn jobs over this. You know and what? that's the saddest Maybe thing. Maybe they should have thought about I, that. A huge Maybe fan. they should have thought about a that. A huge fan. Uh, what? She should have thought, oh, well, I should take this beating because he no. didn't pay? That's At, disgusting. No. What is wrong with you, She Quattel? probably should have settled the lawsuit before she filed criminal charges. No, maybe charges. she's not That's mercenary. That's normally how they go. Maybe oh, she, she is to, mercenary. See, That's why go. she's suing. How do you know so she she's is mercenary? mercenary because I, she's suing. The truth is, well, if she was mercenary, she would have settled under the table and not done any of no, this. No, she might have been no. emotional Maybe she's and not someone, methodical. Maybe she's someone 
that wants justice. Maybe she's someone that wants to protect other women from his monstrous conduct. Charles, Did you listen I to that audio him. of him? Have you heard the she audio of him, him where video, he's comparing Charles. himself to Obama and comparing well, himself to Obama? Martin Luther King? Obama's no. not a sanctified figure. Oh, they're both great men. But now... They're both Dr. Great Martin Luther King Jr., and, he was and, wrong and for was that telling, one. But oh, Obama ain't some saintly figure. Oh, yeah, yeah. He didn't do a damn thing for black people, okay. but I understand the Dr. King comparison. Again, this is a man whose ego was unchecked, who was violent towards women and thought there would be no cost or cost. He was brazen about it. It was out on the streets. You saw a video of him grabbing her. You saw videos of her injuries. If you did I any saw research, a video of him trying to get away audio, from her. You would have heard audio and of him was, being And she fell insane. to the ground chasing him. You would have heard audio of him calling the police when she was unconscious because he'd unstrangled her. Stop, but you Charles. Don't care. It's she the was truth. chasing him. Okay, again, again, maybe before, Grabbing before him, they turn on these pulling cameras, him. maybe do a little research. Juan and he was L. trying to get away instead from of her. making these the video shows he's trying instead to get away of, from instead her, of, Charles. Juan L., you pick things based on the race instead of based I on saw truth. the video this Charles. woman is not mercenary she was rightfully upset I didn't expect him to get jail time but you know what he got his own ass fired right and everyone I loved him in Creed I loved him as Kang I thought he was one of the most interesting younger and he's not a young man he's an adult uh, yeah, Why is he not young? Okay, because he's in his 30s. And, and you were not 53. Okay, again, now, hell he yeah. young. He's, he's an accomplished old, adult somebody. Self. And yeah, he could have been one of the greatest actors of his generation. Instead, he chose to beat women to hell with him. We can't do is continue to try to find a seat at a table where we may or may not be welcome. Mm -hmm. My whole thing is like, there's room under the sun for everyone. Why don't we just build our own tables mm -hmm. and welcome who we may? Equality is awesome. You know, our parents and their parents and their parents, they fought for equality. But I think equity is much more formidable and powerful because when you have equity, you don't have to ask anyone, can you have a seat at mm -hmm. the table? Mm -hmm. It's your table. And you can make as many chairs as you like. In this round, Here's Charles Big Angry Adams. That was Pharrell Williams making the modern argument for discrimination, right? He began talking about people not being welcome at tables. Pharrell grew up in Virginia Beach, uh, went to Northwestern, one of the most prestigious universities in this country for two years, then dropped out to focus full time on an incredibly successful movie career. He's worth millions and millions and millions of dollars. Uh, a friend of mine just a couple of weeks ago was in Paris and had to wait an hour uh, after the Louvre, the nicest museum in the world for art, uh, was open because Pharrell was having a private tour. This is a man that he can pretend he's not welcome at tables, but he's welcome everywhere because of his incredible talent, right? And he is our age. He's a year younger than us. He grew up in the time of uh, affirmative action and incredible outreach and incredible effort that has been made since the, the, the war on poverty started in the late 60s and in the early 70s we saw widespread affirmative action and yet still pushing the notion that equality is not enough and now making this argument for equity. And when you say it's just coded language, right? Coded language for why white people, which are not a monolith, right? If you listen to Pharrell and just a great number of you will talk about white people, it's as if we all grew up in some very nice suburb with a two-family household and all kind of money. I did not grow up with a single parent in a crappy rent house or trailer or apartment because we moved all the time. And when you hear this conversation, as if all white people have equity at tables, if all white people have all the opportunities, it's really just to justify what you do constantly, this new argument that white people should go to the back of the bus. And the truth is, nobody should go to the back of the bus based on their skin color. Nobody should be treated anyway based on their skin color. We should all be treated how we're treated based on the actions that we earn and the things we do to determine how the people perceive us. But please, tell me how I'm wrong. Charles, in listening to Pharrell's remarks, he said exactly what I believe other rappers, entertainment figures, actresses, and athletes of the African-American community need to say. I believe that Pharrell is speaking to the hearts and minds of many future generations of young African-Americans. He said exactly what the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad said. Don't beg of people to sit at their table 
If you're not wanted at that table, go and build a table for yourself and build it so well and put people in the seats who have earned the right to be at that table through success and dedication. And then the others will come and sit at your table. That's a legitimate valid point. He also is pointing out equity, not equality. He is saying that you can never force somebody to accept you as their equal. He says equity, that means build up our financial independence and unifies the people around the dollar of black wealth. And then it is our economic success collectively as a whole that will give us the equity and we won't need equality then because we won't beg somebody else to do for us what we now have the resources to do for ourselves. Oh yeah, that's not the equity argument at all in America. In fact, but it's that's the what he's saying. When, when, did, when did Pharrell get his own record label? I'm not sure about that. Uh, 2001, right? This is a man that has known incredible success in the main year, all based on his own talent. Incredibly <laughs> talented, incredibly intelligent, and, and incredibly capable. But he's sitting here in an interview wearing these diamond ring sunglasses, talking about how he's not welcome at tables and talking about the demand for equity. Because the demand for equity in America right now in 2024 is the demand for for racial bias in academic admissions, for racial bias in corporate hiring. We saw every racial demographic increase in corporate hiring over the last three years, except for whites, which actually plummeted. Uh, we've seen all of this. We, if you look at admissions at elite universities, uh, there are wealth-privileged whites, right? And if you look at it on a per capita basis, there are more wealth-privileged whites than other races that are wealth-privileged, but it's very incredibly narrow for whites, too. But you know what? Ivy League schools for regular old white people that didn't grow up with money and a silver spoon, you need not apply. But Charles, Don't even consider. You've had this is a man. And I haven't had anything. Years. I was people. born in 1972. White people, yes, have white had people aren't a monolith. There's the problem. Years there's the problem. Access yeah. with no discrimination yeah. or interruption. There, 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 but that's not what he's saying. There's the incredible Charles, what problem. What he is saying is that we can build our own. And we don't have to look for somebody not else all. to not give us all. equal what access, he's saying, What he's Charles, saying is that we have to have that? equity I through believe discrimination. That black people should seek to build their own and don't look for another man okay. to do for us what God has okay. demanded we do for ourselves, Nobody's Charles. objecting to anyone building their own. But well, that's what the, he's the, saying. The, no, it's not. You know, maybe you should look at the whole clip and do your research. You listen to that a little bit. He's not right? talking about discrimination. Because you're not doing, you're not saying saying doing the work. You can buy your own You just show up and say, I'm going to sit in this chair and I'm going to Wealth. I'm going to sit in this chair and I'm going to lie so I don't need to do the work. The truth is, his this is an argument. Will never rise above the condition of his people. Oh my God. One thing that Malcolm X said, he said, no matter how rich you become as a black man, okay. in the eyes of your white rich counterparts, <laughs> you nothing but a rich Negro. Okay. Muhammad Ali said the same thing. You, no matter how much money he got, he was still in the eyes of rich white folks as a, white a Negro. Guy, that I somehow could go walk into the River Oaks Country Club and I would be embraced by all the super rich white people I there. I didn't say that. Absolutely. That's exactly what you say all you the time. Be this is always you your be argument. Followed. This is you always be your profiled. argument. They that wouldn't oh, call the cops oh, on you. Oh, whitey, you were all rich. SWAT team the to truth come is that if we want equity in America, if we want social Socialism in America, we don't need race-based socialism. That's not and what you he's need, talking about, Exactly what he's talking about. He's and what talking you about do building is you, black you just wealth. did it on this show. Oh, you got 300-year head start. Charles. Bull crap. You don't know how Charles. I grew up. In fact, you not know you. how I grew the up. And then you said, people no, got that's that not true. Charles. There's the more white people white that are people poor got that in this country start. than any other Charles, race. let me tell you something. Hey, man, oh. he was speaking of facts. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, when you listen to what Pharrell was saying, he was speaking about us not begging for access to some other man's table. That if we really want equality and equity, we have to build a table for ourselves. That's exactly what we should do. We cannot look for another people to do for us what God has given us the resources, the wherewithal, the intelligence among our brothers and sisters, the greatest minds in this country are some black minds. We have to come together and provide these resources for ourselves. So what he said was not racist. I think others need to start teaching that and stand on that. Now to brother Jonathan Majors, I believe in second chances. This should be a great learning experience for you, brother. Up under no circumstances can you ever be seen 
privately or publicly doing anything that suggests your behavior has remained the same that you were found guilty for. Okay, so in the first segment, Quanell tried to tell, uh, change the argument to somehow being, he stated he was against interracial marriages and suggested that I didn't like it, which is absolutely absurd because I'm all for it. People should love whoever they want, male or female, male, male, or any races, who cares? It should be that business of those two people. What I was pointing out was the incredible hypocrisy of people that constantly condemn white men uh, holistically, like I said, as a monolith, right? As a, based on their skin color. And then also are married to white men. Because then you know it's just a pandering lie. It's just something that they say, oh, just like Quanell. Oh, well, I, I just say it on TV. I don't mean it, right? If I'm saying it, I mean it, all right? There's no action here. There's no upside to me being on Fox Soul and just telling the truth. The goal is to encourage honest conversation. And when, when politicians just lie and say whatever, or news media like Don Lemon say, we should have a travel ban on white men while he's also marrying a white man, a white man, you know it's all a lie. Let's stop putting up with lies and let's stop putting up with racists. That's it for the face-off on Fox Soul. We'll catch you next time.